Hello, trans surfer and the trans surfing curious. My name is Renee Garcia, and this is Trans Surfing TV. I'm going to be giving a lesson today on, it really has to do with self-talk, but specifically about these two words, hard or easy, because I really do feel this is where there's a line drawn in the sand of those who achieve and those who do not simply because they tell themselves that something's either hard or it's easy. Before I get started, remember to like my video and comment below. My world is taking care of me to enter my daily giveaway for my reprogramming stickers. And if you are interested in taking Reality 2.0 on the Teachable course, link is below, check it out. So yes, this is a good one that I, I really started to understand this not too far into my transurfing practice. I framed, uh, I was doing a bunch of different projects at the time, trying to get transurfing off the ground. And I remember saying to somebody, this is really hard because at the time there was nobody on the scene. There was nobody doing anything like this. And I felt like I was just some crazy person trying to tell people how amazing this book was. And I was like, oh my God, this is so hard. And my friend at the time was like, is it hard or is it easy? And I was like, what do you mean? And he's like, okay, so what's really hard about it? Well, people aren't listening and it's taking a lot of energy. <laughs> and I really, all the things that I'm going to uh, talk to you guys about today of telling yourself it's hard or easy, I've done this myself. So I started running my list of what I thought was hard. And he says to me, why not just tell yourself it's easy? Why not just tell yourself it's easy? Keep doing that stuff and see if it gets a little bit easier just by saying it's easy. And sure enough, it did. I was making the situation more challenging for myself by telling myself that it was hard. This is me putting my hands up to the alternative space and saying, oh, this is really hard, right? That flow isn't gonna really come in if you're putting up any kind of resistance. That mental reel, that, that self-talk of telling myself it was hard, really what it boils down to is I was creating a theory that my actions or my endeavor, my intention was a hard one to achieve. Therefore, I would highlight more information and material and evidence in my external environment to support that theory that it was in fact hard. Right? So if you tell yourself it's easy, then you've adopted a new theory. This is easy. Okay, now it's not that it's not going to come with its challenges, right? But at least if you have that new theory that it's easy, you are going to highlight information, material, and evidence in your surrounding environment that is going to be supportive of that theory instead. So my little drawing here, I know this is kind of a complex one and some of you will definitely not be able to read this. I tried to keep it as simple as possible. <laughs> no pun intended. It was a little hard, right? So, okay, this is the box, right? This is the box of your, your imposed sort of, of box of you taking on something, taking on a new challenge. Maybe you want to become something or have something or do something or make a big change in life or whatever it is. So you're in this box and this box signifies you pulling from your external environment or doing what you need to do with action or getting connected to the things that you need to connect yourself with in order to realize or materialize this intention into reality, right? So there's two modes that you can be in this box. You can be in the box, um, it's too hard, 
right? Where you're not going to extend to some of those, some of those more um, beneficial things like outer intention and the alternatives flow because you've sort of confined yourself, right? You're in the box and you're like, you're like, you're stuck in there and you're not going to have access like this guy that's saying it's easy. He kind of surpasses the, the barrier that this guy is confined by. Okay, so, so this guy's actually stuck in the box that I want, I fear, I can't let go, right? This is a big one here. The I want, I fear, I can't let go guy is trapped inside of a box of it's too complex, there is no time, there's too high of competition, it's not working, I don't have the tools, it's too hard. Okay, so when you do that, again, you are, first of all, you might be depleted. I should have put, I don't have the energy on there too, but you might be depleted because maybe you're going about trying to materialize your intention via inner intention, right? Doing that will make things seem like they are in fact hard. That's why most people that use inner intention to get something done oftentimes give up prematurely because it is energetically exhaustive. So then there's the self-sabotage, right? So maybe you have access to all the stuff to really make the thing happen, but you're self-sabotaging because in order for you to connect with that higher thing, that higher intention, you have to actually expand the walls of your comfort zone, of the box of comfort that you're in. So if you know that thing is maybe a possibility, but you're too scared to make the move and come out of your comfort zone, you can use all these things. It's too complex. There's not enough time, too high competition. It's not working. I don't have the tools. It's too hard to keep yourself in that comfort zone, so the self-sabotage. Then there's the lack mentality, right? The lack mentality, there's not enough time. The competition thing's a big one, right? Oh, there's, but there's so many people doing it. How am I gonna break into this? This is, I think right now, a really, really um, zeitgeist sort of excuse for not getting up off your butt and going and getting your intention because you have just as much um, ability to take that thing as anyone else in this world does. So saying that the competition's too high and therefore it's too hard so you're not even going to try. Once you get in and you start moving and shaking, you'll realize you're in there with everyone else and nobody is energetically entitled to anything more so than you. So that's kind of this dude, right? This is where you don't want to be. So the this is easy guy, the this is easy guy says things like, I love learning new things. There is enough for everyone. Um, it, if it's not a challenge, then I'm not growing. I'm not learning, right? So now for me, the bigger the challenge that I come up on, the happier I am because I know that I am just about ready to put a feather in my cap of something big learned, right? So I don't run from challenges and say it's too hard, it's too complex, there's not enough time, I don't have the skills, it's not working. I do, you know, I used to do that a little bit with this channel in the beginning. It's not working, it's not working. And then when I zoom out and I look at the analytics, I'm like, wait a second, you just think it's not working when you're looking at specific little periods of time. If you look at the thing on a big picture, it absolutely is working, right? So, Challenges are to be viewed as growing potentials. That will make this is easy a lot easier to say because anytime you encounter anything that kind of throws you off your horse, it's a lot easier to get back on when you invite the challenge in. This one, the bottom one, one of the most uh, valuable, crucial, today is better than yesterday and tomorrow will be better today. My God, this is amazing. So if you can get 
into the groove of doing what it is you need to do to realize your intention. And you can just in the smallest ways sort of um, measure or really quantify growths, even if it's just a little tiny bit, like today is better than yesterday, tomorrow will be better than today. So today I can notice a little bit of growth from yesterday filming or from yesterday doing something else. Then tomorrow I'm going to notice that I'm a little bit better than I was in this moment today. So when you do that, this is easy, becomes a lot easier again, because you see that it isn't going to be, you're standing in one part of your lifeline, on one part of your lifeline, and then all of a sudden, you're just gonna jump to an entirely different lifeline, you're gonna have that thing, and it was just gonna happen like that, right? Now that can happen in transurfing, but most of the time we have to put in energy and action. As long as you can quantify somehow, visually, with your mind, imagine it, whatever it is, that you are in fact improving on a day-to-day -day basis, saying this is easy, gets a lot easier. So some of the things that you have access to when you say that this is easy, when you say this is easy, so when you say this is hard, right? This is hard, I can't do this. You are, like one of my videos said recently, you are putting your hands up like this to the alternative space, you're shutting a door and you're hanging a sign on the door saying, um, alternative space, don't bring that stuff here right? It's too hard. We can't, we can't do that. Don't, don't, don't bring that here. So when you say this is easy, you're opening yourself, right? You're opening yourself saying, I can do this. I invite a challenge. Everything's available to me too. Therefore you have access to outer intention much more so than this guy does. This guy doesn't have any access to outer intention. So you have access to outer intention. Therefore you have access to the alternatives flow. And when you say this is easy and your mind's relaxed and you believe in yourself and you know that you're, you know, exponentially improving day to day in increments and you understand how this stuff works in achieving an intention, you are going to see many more guiding signs than the average person. The person that's saying this too hard, he's already made up his mind. The person that's saying this is easy has opened their mind to the alternative space, guiding signs, alternative flow, outer intention, and this theory, this is easy, will get easier and easier and better, and you will gather more evidence to support that theory that this is in fact easy. And in the beginning of me filming these videos, my God, I was this guy, and now I'm this guy, and this is easy, and every day is really smooth and really easy, and today is better than yesterday, and tomorrow will be better than today. So let me know your thoughts on this one, everybody. Is it hard for you today, or is it easy for you today? How can you switch over to this side, and how can you get away from this inner intention, self-sabotage, lack mentality, it's not working, all that kind of stuff, and move over to the flow, y'all. <laughs> so remember to like my video and comment below and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching my video, everyone. Bye.